Welcome to the TDM Talk Show. Long considered a taboo subject, sex is now openly discussed and portrayed in the mainstream media. Men and women themselves are becoming increasingly aware of their sexuality and their sexual health. In a survey of men and women aged 18 to 59 years, about 43% of women and 31% of men reported some sort of sexual problem. Today we've invited Dr. Kin So from the Genito Urinary Infection Center Clinic to talk about sexual health problems, the spread of sexually transmitted diseases and its treatment. Thank you for joining us, Dr. So. So tell me, how serious is sexually transmitted diseases in Macau? In my experience, I cannot say it's very severe, it's very, mm -hmm. not very serious, but it's quite common disease. Mm -hmm. um, because I manage this kind of patient every day, and sometimes it's quite a lot of patients. Mm -hmm. Yeah, most of them actually, they have been treated, but the treatment is not completed, or the treatment is failure. And they're getting more and more, I mean, their disease getting more and more complicated, mm -hmm. and finally come to see me. <laughs> yeah. This, okay. this is what I see every day. Yeah. So the symptoms of STDs are normally really mild, or you don't get any symptoms at all in some cases. So a person might not even know that they have it, right? Yeah, exactly. Most of the uh, STD, we call it sexually transmitted diseases as STDs, yeah. uh, are asymptomatic. That means the symptom is no symptom, mm -hmm. or the symptom is very mild. So patients don't pay attention to it. They, even so many patients got it, they don't know. And they keep, I mean, they let the problem getting worse and worse. So, how do they find out then? They have to go and see a doctor? Yeah, at the beginning, they see, they try to see the other doctor, and they find that then the treatment's not, I mean, they kind of, they find that, that there's no improvement. Mm -hmm. So, they keep looking for the other doctors. And, and finally, they pre search the website or newspaper, everything, and then finally come to see me. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. So let's talk about STDs. Prevention is always better than cure. That's right. Yeah, that's but right. But in the case of STDs, I've heard that using a condom is the only way that you can prevent transmission of infection. So is this the only option that people have to use a condom? That's the unique option. Not a unique option. And later I will tell you other measures to stop the STD transmission. But this is the common use and easy, the easy way to stop the STD pathogen transmission. However, people have to understand, must realize, condom can effectively prevent so many STD pathogen like the Neisseria gonorrhea mm -hmm. and Chlamydia, uh, chlamydia trichomatis, Uriplasma urelyticum, and all other bacteria or parasites like Trichomatis vigilantis, all this infection can be effectively stopped by the condom. Okay. However, condom can only provide some protection against some STD pathogen like herpes simplex virus, human papilloma virus, HPV, okay. and syphilis. That's the report from in 2006 uh, report by the FDA. Mm -hmm. So actually, it, I can see so many patients that come up to see me. They said, Doctor, I got a problem, but I use condom, but still get a problem. It's very common. I see. So what other ways are there besides using a condom that someone can protect themselves? Right. So for the female patient. Yeah. Now, you, ha, have you heard about a, a vaccine, HPV vaccine? Yes. Yeah. That's quite effective. The HPV vaccine now is widely used in the whole world it's quite effective. Okay. So since there's some STDs have no symptoms and or it's very mild, how often should a person get checked at the doctor for STD transmission? Right. So the question is, if the patient, they keep one partner for a long time, mm -hmm. they don't need to do anything to put it to screening. That means, however, so many cases is they keep changing partner. Yeah. Anyone change partner, if you've got a new sexual partner, must doing the STD screening. 
Yeah. The problem is, in, for example, in my experience in Macau, only few people will do that. But when I work in Australia, yeah. that's very common. People know how, how to pr protect themselves. They, before they have sex with a new partner, they go into doing a STD screening first. And after they find that if I have a problem, they receive the treatment, then cure the disease. If no problem, fine. Mm -hmm. 